Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to secretly move in to Bob and Eliza Pancake's household. I'm going to be living in their attic and they won't have any idea. So I thought about this because when I built my tiny home, where we sort of use the attic space, which isn't really a room, but you can still access it. I was like, I wonder if we can do that in someone else's house. And Bob and Eliza are moving in. <laughs> so, so here we are. This is the, the Pancake's household. Here in Willow Creek, here I am. I mean, might be a little su Oh my gosh, Bob is- <laughs> Bob is kind of staring me down right now. I don't- <laughs> uh, I, I don't know if Bob is totally into this. I Look, they don't know I'm moving in, okay? That's the whole point. I'm just here, walking down the street. I'm gonna clamber up the side of the house and I'm moving in. So. What we're gonna do, we've got that attic space up here. Uh, so basically we can actually use underneath the roof. It's kind of, it's look, it's a little awkward because when you put like the walls down to see inside, the whole roof disappears. So it's kind of hard to see. So we kind of have to have it up like this, but we can put the camera inside. And you can still sort of see around like this, that works. But one thing I like to do with, we're gonna have to adjust that roof. So look, it's not gonna be totally secretive. They're gonna see us changing the roof size. So I'm gonna use a regular wall. So if you put like a wall here, you can see that's how high it is. Now, thankfully, if we have a look at this wall here, Sims can actually fit under a ceiling that comes down to pretty much where this little dot is, or I guess it's supposed to be like a, a nail. So pretty much to that line. So anything above that, they can fit underneath. So we pretty much, I think we actually have enough room here to fit under, but we might need to raise the roof just a little bit. Cause if, can I fit a door is the problem. Can't intersect with walls. Is that just cause of this though? Like if I put this, does this fit? Not quite, but I'm pretty sure to be honest, we might, we're gonna have to do some testing. I'm pretty sure that's gonna work. I know it looks ridiculous. To be honest, if, if adult Sims could crawl through dog doors, I would use that, but we're gonna have to use a regular door, unfortunately. So, um, we'll just try and make it, look, that blends in. You wouldn't even know it's there. And then the next thing is to actually get up there. We're gonna have to use probably the ladder from high school years because it looks the most hidden. Actually, does this, can you climb up a ladder through a door? Is that possible? I doubt it, but I wanna test it. <laughs> Hang on, pretty sure this doesn't work, but I'm gonna find out. Nah, okay, we can't, yeah. He's saying he can't get up that ladder. That would have been way too good, wouldn't it? What about if we just had a hole? Does that work? I feel like it's the same problem, but we'll try. Nah, okay. All right, well, that's good, that's good. Uh, we can't do that. Unfortunate, but that's okay. So what we're gonna, basically what we're gonna have to do, we're probably gonna have to build like a little balcony to actually get up here. Now, I know we do have these flat areas here, but there's not really anywhere to put a door unless... Could we add, like, is there somewhere we could add like a door in the roof that the pancakes wouldn't notice? Problem is you can definitely see that from the street. <laughs> what about what about if I was like a contractor and I came here, they're like, oh, let's, you know, we want to renovate our, our roof a little bit. No, that, that's not gonna work. All right, no, no, no. Okay, what we're gonna have to do is have like a balcony on the side here, which yeah, look, is a little, <laughs> is a little ridiculous, but it means we will be able to climb up this and get off like there. So that that will actually work. Um, how we hide that without the pancakes knowing is another question. Well, first of all, let's get some more lattice work. Really get it to like blend in a little bit. There you go, nothing sus about that. <laughs> Then we just get some of this on the side of the house. There you go. Let's make it look like the rest of the house. Honestly, you guys would never know this is here. Look, look at that. Hidden. <laughs> okay, well, I do actually want to see if this even works. Like, can I get, even get through this door? We gotta, we gotta have to test that. I, the other thing we do actually have to fix is, so these walls, this will actually block our sim. So one thing we can do with this is if we grab the roof and bring it back out to the edge so the wall is like out here, then I hold down shift I select this arrow and just bring the eave in. So essentially it looks like it still joins the roof, but there's no wall here. So now the sim isn't actually blocked by it and it just gives us more space underneath the roof here. So we'll do the same on this side and drag that in. There we are. Okay, now can we get into this attic space? If we can fit in here, we're good. Well, first of all, let's see if, can we climb up this thing? Okay, good. That's a good sign. We're moving toward it. All right, here we go. We're gonna climb up to our secret balcony that I'm sure they don't know about. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is just ridiculous. Okay, so we're up. That's fine. Now can I can I get into this space in the middle? Like can I? No, I'm on Bob. Hang on. So Samaj, can you go here? Oh <gasps> yes, fantastic. Now the question is, how far left and right can we go? Because I'm pretty sure we're only going to be able to get in the two middle tiles. Like I don't think I could really get under here. 
Actually, look, I can't even click here. So I think the game knows I can't go there. So yeah, I have the two middle tiles, but I can't, okay, that's good. So we know that, that's how much space we have. What I'm wondering is, well, let me grab this wood plank flooring. I think I'll use this as well. So basically what that means is this space here, this is our usable space. Everything on the sides is too short for our sim. So if I like have a look in here, the game is basically saying my sim cannot fit in this space, which look is fair. Obviously if it was real life, you could crouch, but it's sims. So we can use, put usable furniture in the middle section. We might be able to get away with some stuff on the side. I'm not actually sure. We can try. Like, I'm, I'm wondering if we had a bed. Now, I also feel like we should use items that look like they're portable. So like we could have folded it up and brought it up with us without them knowing. So like this kind of cot style of bed or like this one. <laughs> or like this one. Let's use this one. So I'm, I'm wondering, can I put this like here? rather than here, and will that work? That's my question. No, no, Tamaj, stay here. Oh, hang on. Oh yes, that's great news. So I think what's gonna happen is, as long as my sim can walk to the item in this middle section, if the item's on the side, it should still work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, so we got a bed. All right, all right, all right. So this is good news, this is good news. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this flooring like that, and then I might do it going the other way here. And this is purely just so I can tell where I can, you know, where I need to be able to walk and all that kind of stuff. So, all right, let's get all the essentials. Well, for a counter, I don't, there's not really any counter that looks like it's portable. Do we have a mini fridge? Do you reckon you could get a mini fridge up here? <laughs> I assume so. Hang on, okay, hang on. We got, we got to make a bedroom. Oh yeah, like something like this is good. So I've got to be conscious of like the, the actual roof. So can I, if I make it a little bit smaller and I like put it down here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then can I get another one on the other side? You know, we can have, well, <laughs> there we go. We have like a little bedroom at the back. Look at this, this is nice. <laughs> I think we also just need like boxes and stuff up here. I kind of wish the game just had like big like moving boxes. That'd be really good. Cause I don't, uh, we have like those wooden crates. They're a little much. These dream home decorated ones are probably, they're pretty small though is the problem with these. Oh, this cats and dogs one is actually, this is a really good piece just to have like this sort of in here somewhere. <laughs> Cause it's gonna, it, look, it's gonna look like an attic as well, okay? Oh, this is good like bedroom stuff, just like, blankets and laundry, okay, random crates of just stuff. I don't know why these would be up here, but they are. So we have like these kind of piles, but it's kind of weird because it's like pallets and crates. Like I don't think the pancakes would have this in their attic. So <laughs> I'm not going to do that, but they do look good. Ooh, like this kind of furniture. Yeah, from the, the thrift store. That's a good idea, actually. Might put this in the main area, a bit more space. <laughs> Ooh, and we have another one. Okay, I might have to remove some of this stuff because it's actually pretty big, but oh, that kind of looks like, that definitely looks like a shop setup. What if I do it the other way? Uh, that, maybe this one's a little too shop-like. This one looks a little bit better. Kind of looks like a pile of furniture. Ooh, these, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some like pictures and stuff. Oh, I guess it should be against the wall, not like the roof. So I might put it at the back. All right, so that's in there. That's good. I might move this little basket out so we can see it a bit more. All right, so that's, <laughs> that's the bedroom at the back. Okay, so let's move, let's move our little bed so we know it can sort of fit in this space. Might do it the other way, so you're sort of facing the front, but I think that'll be good. That's nice, that's nice and cozy. That's quite good. Could we fit like a bedside table in here? Like, I feel like we could fit something off to the side. Is there one that looks kind of like more portable <laughs> than some of the others? Whoa, this is massive. I like this, but I, what if I scale it down? It's just a bit smaller. I feel like at full size, that's like really big. Though I suppose it would fold down like flat. So actually, you know what? This might be a good one. We, we could have this up here. So I'm putting it on this side of the bed because I mean, we don't actually need to access it. So I think it'd be good just to have it off to the side. It sort of fits in that space quite nicely. I might actually have it face this way so you could like reach in and get stuff out of it. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Do you have a little mug where we've been having our coffee out of or our tea or whatever? Very nice. Okay, that's a nice bedroom. All right, so our kitchen, well, we've got a mini fridge. <laughs> Which we'll have to test, so that should be all right. Um, I guess we don't have a counter because we're in the attic, right? So should we just have like, a, we could have a microwave, have a microwave on top of that. So you can just have, you know, your quick meals and all that. If you need something else, you can go out. Maybe we can sneak into the house during the day. Could, can we fit like a ladder into the house somewhere? <laughs> we can sneak, yet, sneak in. All right, we need like a little living space, I think. So couch wise, again, yeah, something portable is probably a good idea. Well, portable looking, I should say. Yeah, like this kind of thing. Actually, can we get like a, can we get a dining table? Cause there's like this, it's so big. Why, why don't I want this, but like a dining table, like a small foldable table, not, not like a, 
<laughs> so I would have had to carry this whole thing up the ladder. I mean, I, I guess it's possible. I guess it's also like, how did I get the bed up here? <laughs> Look, while the pancakes were out one day, I snuck in, okay? Maybe we do that, then I can have like a living space over here. Kind of wish I was like, this looked a little dirtier, you know? It's a little clean. Here we go. <laughs> get some grub on it. Kind of also just want some more stuff around. Maybe a few more mugs here, yeah, yeah. Get a little pile of mugs. I don't know, like boxes of paper and... There just should be junk, you know, just just stuff everywhere. We're in an attic again, you know, I think we need that kind of stuff. <laughs> this is the dining chair. No, no, we'll get like like this like a little folding chair so we can, that's where we have breakfast or whatever. Oh, it's actually quite nice facing this way. Could we fit a TV back there? I, mean, I suppose it could just be on this table. Oh, you know what? We need that. We need the other TV. We need the hidden TV. Yeah, these ones. These are great. I'm going to use move objects. So I can just move it to the back of the, the the table a little bit. Oh, it's a little off. Hang on. So that's good. And then I think I'll move the, the chair over here. So like if we wanted to watch TV from a bit further away, you can do that. You know, and and if we want company, maybe we should have a second chair. You know, I have two chairs. We can have a friend over. <laughs> Should I get a, we should get a different. Let's get a different chair. Yeah, we'll get one of these. There you go. So you can you have your friend over, can sit here. Oh wait, where did that chair go? Hello? Oh, <laughs> there it is. Have your friend over, sit here watching TV, or you can sit here watching TV while eating breakfast. It's really nice. It's really quite nice, to be honest. <laughs> now, we don't have like a toilet or a shower or any of that stuff. But I mean, to be honest, how how would we even do that? I think this is a great item for the shower and, and bath and that. Because you can see it's like almost like handmade and it has its own like water heater there. Kind of looks like it's got like a water tank maybe like here is where the water's coming from. I don't know. That could just be a pump sort of looking thing, but you know, it looks like this could potentially be something that makes a little bit of sense. It's a little tall though, where would it go? Um, but as for toilet, not a lot of good toilet options. I mean, there's this, but like, <laughs> I don't know where it's going. Does it look like this could be like, I mean, to be honest, that just looks like a bucket. Is that just a, do you reckon that's just a bucket that you'd pull out and then empty? So maybe we could use this. It'd be disgusting because it's like literally in this space and it's venting into this room. Can we get the vent sticking out of the roof? <laughs> I don't think we'll be able to use that. Wait, let me try. If that works, that's so funny. I don't think so though. No, he can't, he can't even get to it. He's not even trying. Okay, well, what we could do, I, I like this. <laughs> I like this idea of installing a vent. Let me see. Can we get to this right there? Yes. Okay. Let's just pretend we have this vent. Hang on. I want to, no, no, no. I want to, no, no. Can I put it? Oh, I can't actually. I want it in the room, but it like won't let me do it. Oh, okay. Hang on. Here's an idea. If we go down the level below. I raise it up. Problem is then we see it here. Is that annoying? That's probably annoying. Oh, actually I've got an idea. What if I do this? Oh, no, no. What if I do this? I remove that, then I place this first and then I put it back. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> so we have that sit on top of the toilet and then we put this back. <laughs> so we have a toilet vent there and then a little toilet here. Does it still work with that on top of it though? It looks like it. Sweet. Now this is a little too tall, uh, <laughs> as you can see. So that's gonna have to, I guess, I mean, we can just move it in like, we can still walk around this. I think if I just move it further down this way and if I have it like a little, a little bit more loosey goosey, oh, a little too loosey goosey. It just looks a bit more interesting. So I think we should still be able to walk around all this. Now we might need a sink up here because if I use a toilet and I try to go wash my hands, that could be a problem. Is there one that looks like it makes sense? Cause this is clearly plumbed in. So I'd have to do some structural work to the house. Like I want things that don't look like they're plumbed in. <laughs> That's no. Well, this actually doesn't have any pipes going anywhere that I can see. Like all these other ones, if you look at it, like this has got a pipe going down underneath, for example. Um, this one actually doesn't either. So we could potentially use this. It's maybe a little fancy though. And like this one has a pipe at the back as well. This has got a pipe. So this one we could pretend doesn't have a pipe. I think the idea is probably it goes into the wall, but let's just pretend it doesn't. And we could put like a bucket underneath it. So we can be like, maybe we're just emptying it ourselves, you know? I like that idea. Put that there. <laughs> we just get this big bucket. It's kind of weird. Actually, that's like to be carried. What about this one? More empty. I was like, if we just place this under here, maybe. I don't know. We can just use your imagination, you know? I don't know how we got the sink up here, though. Because like, I can imagine we built these things up here. Like we brought the wood up one by one. I don't know how this got up here. But... Or we use this one, which again, doesn't have any visible pipes. Like it's just wood on the ground. So you'd imagine there's something underneath here. Because otherwise, I don't know how that would work. Maybe we use this instead just to fit the vibe a bit better you know nice okay so bedroom kitchen living room bathroom oh you know we need a bin up here that's <laughs> something oh we should oh, you know what we should do uh first up what kind of bin well here's the thing so ladders 
You cannot carry a bag of trash down. The Sims just won't do it. Like you could put it in your inventory and then climb down and do it that way. But we, so if we wanted to like permanently get rid of trash up here, we could have like a barrel, but it's, it's kind of like, again, it's kind of big. It's like, how'd you get this up here? <laughs> maybe this, cause it looks like you could, again, it looks like you could have built it up here. Maybe let's get the wooden one. That'll go there. So yeah, I was gonna say what we should do. All right, look, this is honestly a little silly, but we should have like a little mailbox up here. <laughs> It's funny, okay? We'll blend it in so maybe the pancakes won't see it. Can do a little trim on this so it's not as uh, white and obvious. Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious, but you know. We've got, we've got our little mailbox, we've got our toilet vent. Very nice. Oh, look at this place. Now, one thing we don't really have, lighting. Definitely need some lighting. Little camping lights, I think are a great option. One on here, get one on the bedside. Yes, nice. Oh, you know what would be good is a mirror somewhere. We don't have a light over here as well. Uh, hang on, I wanna put this on the table, but not right there. Like if I just use move objects, but like back there. Yeah, nice. That's good. You know, we got a nice little bit of light around the place. You can see, maybe. <laughs> okay, mirror is kind of the same issue. I think probably the best option would be the werewolf one. And maybe if we just put it against this wall by the front, because otherwise, oh, it's too big. Oh, and you can't scale mirrors. Okay, that's a problem. You know what? It can probably, oh, so I can go against the back wall, but you can't really use it. Although I do like that. Just aesthetically having that there. You know, I'm going to put that there. That's a bit of fun. We don't, we could do a small mirror at the front here. Well, the sink is on this side, so let's put the mirror over here next to the, the sink. There you go. Well, I don't know if we can actually use that mirror, but it's there. I suppose I could move the sink a bit if we need to. Like I could, I could sh actually, you know what? Let me shuffle this along a little bit because I could just have it going this way and then just have that behind it. And that, I think that'll work. We'll, we'll test it, but that should be good. All right, so there's lots of space in this attic in terms of like unusable space that we can't use. So let's just get some stuff back here. I know crates are kind of, I'm still a little weird on crates, but they are good fillers, I think. Ooh, decoration boxes. That's a good idea, actually. I go back to daytime so we can see what we're doing a little bit better. Oh, just another little room divider thing. It kind of just visually at least covers up some of the space back there. Yeah, that's pretty good. And you know, there's stuff back there. It's, it's getting there, it's getting there. Oh, you know what we do need? Probably like a rug or something. Not this, but I was actually just gonna add this over here. I feel like there's a bit of mess back there, it's good. Uh, yeah, like a, a nice rug, maybe like one of these cats and dogs ones just for the bedroom area, you know, just have that slap down. Yeah, that feels like home now. <laughs> Might actually get this facing the other way because it kind of, hang on, it's hard to see. It kind of fills a little bit of space, like angled away, like it's sort of angling toward the roof if I put it like here. And it fills that space quite well, I think. <laughs> That's actually quite good. Whoa, there's like huge ones too from uh, Get Famous. Might just scale it down and have like a little one there. I think that's a good idea. Okay, I mean, I'm pretty happy <laughs> with the amount of junk in here. Like I could put a lot more stuff in, but I mean, I think it's already getting pretty busy in here. So hang on, if I go back to nighttime, you know, we got some good lighting going on. I think maybe, can I get a little bit of light near this sink would probably be a good idea. Is there like a light that kind of looks portable that goes on the wall, like a lantern kind of? that looks like it was just hung up and is not connected. I mean, a candle, I guess could work. N none of those are great options. I think maybe, can I just use this again? Like what if I just use this and like, oh, actually I've got a table right here. Let's use that, there we go, that works. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> all right, all right, time to test my new house. Bob and Eliza are hanging out in the balcony. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, just uh, let's maybe, well, let's test everything one by one. Let's go use the toilet, make sure that still works up there. Hopefully Bob and Eliza do not see, they seem busy and preoccupied, so I think we are okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna sneak up here. Don't mind me guys. Hang on, if I go to their perspective, if I go like here. Oh yeah, they, they have no idea. I am secretly living in their house. <laughs> so, so silly. All right, there we go. Snuck past. All right, let's go inside. Oh no, my bathtub sticks out a little bit. Okay. All right, toilet works. Okay, we don't need to watch that. Um, <laughs> oh no. Oh no, that's just my plumb bulb. I thought I was like, there's something green sticking out. No, that's fine. Right, this needs to also ever so slightly come in a little bit more. There we go, that's all good. I think everything else is hidden as well, which is good. All right, washing my hands, which is good, that works. Let's go. Uh, let's take a shower as well. <laughs> Meanwhile, Bob and Eliza are just there. Hang on, if I go here, we can see Bob and Eliza just down there. I'm secretly showering in their attic. This is great. This is fantastic, there we go. And can I watch TV? If I go watch TV on my little portable uh, <laughs> dumpster find. Here we are. Beautiful. Do you want to sit down though, Samaj? Like, do you want to sit? Good, it still works. Good, I'm glad. I was just making sure I could actually sit and watch TV. That's good. All right, let's go have a microwave meal. Have some chicken nuggets. Make sure that works. Bob and Eliza still hanging out down there, having a chat. Meanwhile, I'm uh, upstairs in the attic, making some food. I'm not really sure how I got electricity up here. Look. There's, there's an outlet up here somewhere. There's obviously an outlet upstairs. <laughs> 
good to see that this works. And then I guess we can test the bin too with this food, which is good. Oh no, this is kind of inside that. Sorry guys. Hang on, just realized to slide it over a little bit. Move those mugs so it's not clipping into that light either. There we go. Resume, please get your get your chicken nuggies, please. Mmm, yummy. I'm gonna sit at the dining table. You can sit here and eat it. Here we go. Yeah. And then can we watch TV while we're eating? Oh, dang it. Maybe it's too close to sit there. I think are you gonna go back over? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's okay. You know, that it's the TV still works and the chicken nuggies work. All right, let's, we don't actually need that. Uh, yes, Eliza likes painting. That'll keep her busy while we are in the attic. <laughs> All right, so, so if I say, hang on, place that, place that in world, please. If I say clean up. We should just take it to this bin, right? Or maybe the sink. Yeah, the bin works, which is good news. Yep, and then I'm off to the sink. <laughs> Great. So the last thing to test is just to make sure that bed works and then we can pretty much live our entire lives up here. We never have to leave. We just have to, can sneak out at night time. No, 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 don't get a glass of water. Dang it. No, 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 no. Oh no. Why do Sims always want a glass of water? Also, you have a sink right here. Get it from this sink. All right, so Bob, Eliza, don't worry. That creaking, that's just the house settling. That That's not someone climbing up or down the side of it. That's just the house. <laughs> okay. And burning to death. What the heck? Samaj, that's why I was like, let's not do that. Get inside. Uh, I guess the attic probably isn't insulated. Uh, hang on, I might need to change clothes. <laughs> Samaj, stop. Okay, well the bed definitely works, so that's good if we just relax in it. Yeah, I guess that is the downside. Of the attic is probably incredibly hot. It's like a dang heat wave out here. Oh well, oh well. We are now enjoying our lives here in the attic of the Pancakes household, and they. Uh, none the wiser. Oh, I'm off. Okay, I guess I didn't like it that much up here. Okay, bye. Well, I mean, I thought it was a cool idea. <laughs> Apparently I'm off to get a glass of water again. Dude, you can just get it from your own sink. You know, you can get water here. Well, there you go. There's our little attic. I mean, if you guys, if you guys are interested in this, I mean, I suppose I could share the house, but I mean, I don't know why you'd want this. It was kind of just a silly idea, but it is possible. If you guys want to move into the Pancakes household without them knowing, you can live in the attic. It is possible. Um, can even have your own mailbox, which is quite nice. But I think I'll leave this video here. That was a little silly as a fun little idea. I thought it would be kind of funny. I mean, I don't know if we could actually do any sort of meaningful like gameplay there. Because the problem is, yeah, we could like live in the attic, but it's not like we would still have to pay the bills on the rest of the house. Like there's no way I could live there and not pay for the rest of the house. So if that was possible, <laughs> that'd be great if I didn't have to pay for it. But. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. I'll see you next time, and have an awesome day.